Hey guys, thanks for watching Nerf SOCOM. This is VS. Today we're going to be comparing all of the Nerf revolvers, which includes Maverick Rev 6, Barricade Rev 10, Fury Fire Dart Tag Set, and the Spectre Rev 5. I'm Adam. I'm Jake. Um, so first, we're going to start off with a Maverick. This is the Maverick Rev 6. Some of the features are the top cocking, along with a side load of six rounds in a cylinder. It has sights here and a sling adapter here. Uh, it has a rail, and it has, but it has no stock adaption. And uh, the barrel spins with the trigger pull. Next, we have the Fury Fire set, which are here. They're the only ones that are shotgun style. They hold 10 rounds, and the barrel stays here, not like the Maverick where it comes out. It just stays here. Um, this chamber, as well, spins with the trigger. Back, and it spins half, and forward, it spins the next half. It has a rail, no sling adapter. You can use this trigger spot here or this here, but both of them will get in the way if you put a sling there. Um, it comes with two sights, which is not normal with Nerf, um, unless you're talking about the Maverick. Normally, unless maybe with more pistols they put them on, normally on rifles they don't put two, two sights, only the back one. Um, it doesn't come with a stock adapter. Uh, this is the only one that has the start slot on the bottom. So next we have the Spectre Rev 5. We have a top cock right here, just like on the Maverick. We have sights. We have a rail, we have a barrel that comes with an adapter as a silencer, as seen here. Also comes with the stock. So the stock that doesn't that is not shown here, it folds on its side and folds back. It's kind of inconvenient for playing quick games. And this is of course one of the only pistols from Nerf that has a, a barrel adapter on the front. Another great feature is how when you come to sideload the cylinder, it comes out fully, unlike in the Maverick, when the Maverick just comes half out. So I like that much better. And also I like how it clicks when you spin it. Spin, click. Unlike the rest of them, instead of the barrel spinning with the trigger, it spins with the cocking of the gun. Which is really which cool. Is really cool, yes, and causes for less jams. There is a sling mount, single sling mount right here. And last, we have the Barricade Rev 10. Um, it's a flywheel system, so it has this winding sound here. Um, so it's, it's also battery operated, that's a downside for it. Um, it's 10 rounds, and this chamber spins with the trigger, just like the rest of them, except for the Spectre. Um, it has two sights. Um, a rail. It's the only one with a de-jamming area. And it has a stock adapter. It doesn't come with the stock. There's a special edition, I think, that does come with the stock, but the main one does not. And it also has a sling adapter here, which I think is the coolest looking one, just because it's uh, more embedded. Um, now, let's get to comparing these guns. So in comparison of the, from the Mavericks to other guns, no. this is one of the older Nerf guns made by Nerf, still may, being made today. It's also one of the cheapest, it's also the fastest to wear, the smallest, and it jams a lot. I mean, I'll be shooting, I'll get two rounds off and it'll jam. Kinda sucks. Next we have the Fury Fire set. Um, this one is overall the coolest cocking action because it's a shotgun cock and you don't get that with any of these other ones. Um, it's easiest to modify, and it's very close to the Maverick. It just has less components inside, which makes it a little bit easier where the Maverick has the uh, release lever there. Um, it's the simplest, and it is the longest lasting. We've had these ones for a very long time, and we've had Mavericks and Recons, both, um, this outlasted both models. Next, we have the Spectre. I feel it has the coolest cocking mechanism because the barrel spins while you're cocking it. I also like the clicking of the barrel. And then all, the downside is it has the, the lowest ammo capacity out of all these pistols and probably the lowest range. Um, and finally, we have the Barricade Rev 10. Um, this one has the longest trigger pull, which is sometimes a downside, sometimes not, because you have to pull it all the way here. And when it's like this, you have to pull it really far. And that's only because it has to spin the barrel and launch a, a little piece here forward. Um, it has the fastest shooting. You can pull it really fast once, once you have the gun uh, cocked. Although, when you do shoot it faster, sometimes you'll get um, more, jams. The, more jams and the darts 
won't go as fast because you're working the flywheel more. Um, the bad thing about it, compared to all these other ones, is it's the noisiest, just because of the flywheel. It's just, it's, anyone's gonna hear you from anywhere you're, you're in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna shoot these guns, but just to note, these are not new guns, so you're not gonna get the results compared to if they were all new. So it's not gonna be completely accurate, but you'll, we'll give you the gist of what they were like when they were new. Okay guys, first we'll start with the Mavericks. Make sure six shots a piece. Now we'll shoot the Fury Fire. Now I'm gonna shoot the barricade. And I'll shoot my Spectre. Reload. So the Spectre shot streamlines and the Mavericks, they shot blue suction cups. The Free Fires shot blue tipped Velcro and the Barricade shot Whistler darts. So let's go take a look at what darts went where. So our first darts here would be the Maverick darts and these always bounce off of here. Uh, next down here you see most of the Free Fire darts which are the Velcro blue tip around 23-25 feet. Um, the black tip darts which are the Barricade darts first show up here. You see more of the blue Velcro which are the Fury Fires. And past the tape, you see a bunch of more random ones, but they bounced. All of these bounced. So I'd say the effective range for all of them are going to be back five feet. From this information, you can get the idea that the Fury Fire shoots about the weakest. Next is the Spectre, um, following the Maverick, and finally the Barricade. Thanks for watching NerfSocom VS. Hope the information that we provided was useful to you, and see you guys next video.